friends, my name is Miss Milana, and we are so glad that you've joined us today. Hi, I'm Miss Elaine, and we're so excited to be looking into the Big God story with you today. But we have one other friend who likes to dig, dig, dig in the Big God story with us. Do you remember his name? That's right, his name is Hamilton. And let's remember, friends, Hamilton is a hedgehog, so we don't want to scare him. We want to use our gentle voices like I'm using right now. So let's call him on the count of three. One, two, three. Hamilton. Hamilton. Usually I find Hamilton. Let's, let's, uh, I don't think he's in his house today. What's going on? I, I can't find Hamilton. Where, where's our girls? Where Have be? you seen Hamilton? Did you see him? He's not in his house. There he is. I see him coming. Oh, what you got, Hamilton? I found him outside. Well, what are you doing outside, Hamilton? He, he's got a big rock. Hamilton, were you playing outside? Wow. Oh, maybe digging in the garden. Is this a clue for our story? Wow, Hamilton. A clue for the big God story. That is a very big and heavy rock. I wonder what the clue could mean. I think we should go and dig into God's book, the Bible, and see what our clue is all about. Let's do it together. Okay, let's stand up and sing our Bible song. All together. Now it's time to hear God's word, hear God's word, hear God's word. Now it's time to hear God's word, so let's look in the Bible. Well, hi, boys and girls. My name is Mr. Lucas. And I have a story from, for you from God's Word, the Bible. This story is about a boy named David. Now you learned about David already. You learned that he was a shepherd. Now, can you remember what a shepherd is? If you think that a shepherd is someone who looks after alligators, put your finger on your chin. If you think that a shepherd is someone who looks after sheep, put your finger on your nose. That's right. That's right. David was a shepherd who looked after sheep and he was very good at it. He was a brave shepherd. Did you know that one time a, a lion came to attack the sheep and David saved the sheep from a lion? He was brave. David loved God. Well, the story today is about David. Now, David wasn't a grown man. He was a teenager. Maybe like, like in high school, that kind of teenager. This story is about a battle between some mean Philistines. Oh, they were mean. Oh, you think they were nice people? You're right. They were, they were mean. There are probably some nice people there, but in this army, they were mean and they wanted to hurt God's people. Well, David wasn't in an army fighting the Philistines, but David's big brothers were. And one day, David went to bring his big brothers some lunch to eat. When he got there, all his brothers and all the other soldiers were scared. Show me your scared face. Oh, yeah, yeah, they were, they were really scared like that. Ah. And, and, and David said, why are you so scared? And they said, there's a big, big man over there and he's tough and he's, and he wants to, he wants to hurt us all real bad. Show me a big, strong man. Okay. Put up your muscles. Ooh, make a mean face. Yeah. Well, David saw the big man. Oh, good job. You can sit down again. David saw the big man. His name was Goliath. Can you say Goliath? Goliath. Oh, okay. David saw Goliath. And then he heard Goliath talking. And you know what Goliath said? You soldiers from Israel, you are no good. I'm going to beat you all and you're going to lose. Well, everybody got scared. Show me your scared face. 
Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, they were scared. Well, uh, good job. Then Goliath said, And your God is not strong. My God is strong, but the real God, he is not strong at all. Then David got mad. Show me a mad face. Yeah. David said, who, who would say something like that about God? And David said, I want to fight Goliath and show him that God can help. And so David did. Now, here's what happens. I've got a picture. This is David, okay? He's about that tall, okay? He's shorter than me. Maybe he was taller because he was a teenager. You never know. This is Goliath. Do you see the difference? Yeah. Which one's taller? Point to David or point to Goliath for the taller one? Good job. Goliath was way taller. And look at, look at Goliath. He has a spear. He has a big shield. Does David have a spear? Does David have a big shield? But David has the power of God. Say, yes, the power of God. Try it. Yes, the power of God. And so David goes up to Goliath and they're ready to have the battle. Just little David and big Goliath. So David, he had a bag over his shoulder and in this bag, there was, there was a rock. In fact, there were five rocks. Let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. Well, hey, rock. Hamilton brought a rock, didn't he? That's why Hamilton brought a rock for the story. Okay, so David goes, puts his hand in his bag and pulls out a rock. He puts it in his sling. Now, a sling is like a, a, a rope about this long with a little, little pouch on the end and then another rope just as long and you swing it in your arm like this. Can you swing your arm? Try it. You got it. Really big. Okay, now, so David's swinging. There's a rock in there. He lets go of one little rope and the rock goes beep, bing. Goliath in the head goes boing and Goliath goes poof and you may wonder where I'm going but I'm falling down Bleh! Whew. you stand up for me okay now you're gonna be Goliath okay and the giant came tumbling down are you falling down good job okay David won the battle because David followed God. So boys and girls, was little David powerful? No, but you know who is powerful? God is powerful. And no matter what's happening to you, God will help you because God is powerful. So we're gonna pray Fold your hands and close your eyes and smile because Jesus sees you and he's smiling. And then you can repeat after me. Say, dear God, I am small. I am small, but you are powerful. But you are powerful. Please help me. Please help me because I know you love me because I know you love me. Amen. Amen. Remember boys and girls, God is powerful. Bye bye. Children, let's all do the memory verse together. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul and with all your might. And that's in Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 5. Are you ready to do it all together? 
you, you shall love, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your might. Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 5. Wow, you guys have learned that memory verse so well. I'm so proud of you. We learned today that God is powerful. Can you say that with me? God is powerful. Yeah, he can do amazing things. And you know what? No matter what we're facing, God can do amazing things for you and for me because he is so powerful. We are so glad that you joined us today and we can't wait to learn with you again next time. Remember, God loves you so much. And we do too. Bye. Bye.